Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've gotten, gotten quite a few requests to use my simple carbon felt burner with a canteen cup stove, either this one or the one from the canteen shop. What I'll do today is try it with the, the military canteen cup stove. Now before I start this, there's a couple of things you should know. Sometime way back, I think it was 2009, I did a test on how you should put your canteen cup on this. Now you can see it's the same shape as a canteen cup. That way it stores underneath this in your canteen cup pouch. So most people seem to think that it's supposed to, it's kidney shaped and the bottom of the canteen cup is kidney shaped. And a lot of people seem to think that you're supposed to fit the canteen cup down in like that. This is what I call the zero degree, that it's the same. Problem with that is it seals off the cup, the cup, and it also makes like a stale area here where the heat doesn't go. So back in 2009, I'll put a link to it down below. A lot of people go the other way where they turn it around 180 degrees so that the kidney shapes are opposite. Then you can set your canteen cup on top of it. It doesn't collapse down into the stove, which sometimes is a pain to try to get apart after you've heated it up. But if you turn it 180 degrees around, then you get all these gaps where heat from the fire can come up and heat the sides of the cup, not just the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to use it in the 180 degree. Also, I do have a canteen cup cover. This is also from Canteen Shop. Really nice cover, but a little bit heavy. But um, today I'm just going to use aluminum foil because I want to put a temperature probe in here. Let me light this. Yep. Uh, the Canteen Cup stove, this one, the military type, is about two and a half inches tall. So when I put the burner in there, there's only about an inch between the top of the burner and the bottom of the pot. Okay, I'm also going to use the uh, fire plug from Smoke Eater 908. I had request to do that. So I had this set up already and it was, you know, putting alcohol into the stove. I have two cups of water here, setting at 59 degrees. Put that on the burner in the 180 degree position. And let's see where this goes. Here we have 210, 211, 212, in 11 minutes, 17 seconds. That's about what I expected. I've seen worse, but that's about what I expected. So that was two cups of water starting at 59 degrees came to a full boil in 11 minutes and 17 seconds. Not the greatest time, but you got to remember this canteen cup is a piece of steel. I mean, we use these for digging holes and all kinds of stuff. Try doing that with a piece of titanium or an aluminum pot. So for a hunk of steel, that's not a bad time. The thing was, when I was in the service, we didn't have canteen these canteen cup stoves. I had never seen these. Uh, we would take our tank, which I didn't even have this kind of handle. I had the single uh, bent ham handle that flips out from underneath. And we would heat up our, if we had to heat something up in this, we'd do it over C4 or a wood fire or something. Never did have burners or this, this stove. Okay, so for those of you that requested it, I hope that helps. You know, not fast, but not you know not that bad. The fire plug is working excellently. Now that I'm done with this, what I'll do is I'll when you're done with this, you look for the little uh, I don't know what you call this little extra segment on the side of the. Can you see that there? That shows where the breather hole is. So when you want to be done with this, you turn it counterclockwise from this. So just like that. That way you won't lose a lot of alcohol and stuff, although I did anyway. I turned it too fast. Yeah, see now it's, I turned it too fast and I also, 
that's from the runaway there is from the extra fuel that was in the hose <coughs> you got to put the fuel gauge down <laughs> lower than the uh, stove itself let me blow this out okay so anyway a little bit of excitement there so I hope this helps I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.